You will find the rich text editor throughout your learning environment. Whether you are in a class or a community, participating in a message board discussion or creating announcements. By using the rich text editor in these areas, your online classrooms and communities can be enhanced with interesting and interactive elements. We're going to learn how we can make that possible and bring our content to life. We'll review how to upload and embed images, embed videos, edit the display of media, link our text or images to other content areas and external links, add attachments, and we'll also preview features like tables, the equations editor, and HTML source code options. So let's get started. Here we have a message board topic by an instructor that has implemented quite a few of the features we'll touch on today. First, we're going to edit this topic to see how it was created. Okay, so our rich text editor tool has all of the basic font options at your disposal. The additional features I mentioned that you may find handy. For the math minds, we have the great equations editor tool. To bring a more personal touch, you can upload an image, insert media like audio and video, or upload any file directly. The insert table function will allow you to customize a table and insert it into your editor. And you can also easily insert or delete links that you need to. Here, your horizontal ruler, it will easily allow you to divide sections and finally, the Remove Formatting button to make changes to formatting that you may want to discard. Another highlight of the editor is the copy-paste functionality. From anywhere, you can copy and paste formatted content and images right into the editor. Now, I need to quickly explain the difference between copying and pasting images and uploading an image. When you use Upload Image, the files are stored in your Files Manager, so you can reuse and access the images again and again. When you copy and paste, no file gets stored. So if you are planning on using the content or an image just once, this copy and paste functionality is going to be right for you. You may also notice that as you're entering text, that the default is to double space when you hit the Enter key. There are two ways to manage this option. The first is through keyboard shortcuts. If you prefer to work with single line spacing all of the time, you can change that option here. And please note that the new setting won't go into effect until the next time that you start your editor. But if you prefer to work with double spacing and only use single line spacing once in a while, you select the shift key on your keyboard, you hold it down and you hit enter and your single space is inserted rather than a double space. So our first action will be to insert an image, and there are multiple ways to accomplish this. You can copy and paste an image from your clipboard, or you can select an image. From the drop-down menu, you have three options. Upload an image will allow you to upload an image from your computer. Image URL allows you to paste or uh, type in an image URL that you would like to use in its place, or File Manager. And we'll use File Manager. You have the option to upload from your class or your community's shared files, or from your personal My Files. In this instance, we'll use our shared files and apply the image. As you can see, we've inserted an image that's too large and it needs to be resized for optimal viewing. If you double click on the image, you'll have the option to change the appearance. So under the Appearance tab, select dimensions that will fit with your content and click Update. And your image changes are shown. Now let's say that I'm not going to copy and paste an image, but I want to use the image URL. It's important to remember to isolate the image that you are going to reference, and I want to show you why. We're going to insert a real image of Bobby Fisher. I've already done a typical Google search. Here's the image I want, and all I have to do is copy the image URL from the address bar, right? And I'll go back into my editor. I'll select image URL and I'll paste the image URL that I've copied and click Apply. Ah, but a broken link icon has appeared. The URL we entered is not the image URL, but it's the Google search page URL. So we're going to return to the results page 
and typically with images, you are copying and pasting from the web, two options come to mind. You can right click on the image and select copy image location. Make sure it's copy image location, not copy link location, copy image location. Or from the web resource that you're copying the image from, you can select the view image button and then copy the image URL from the address bar. Now you can return to the editor, remove that, that broken image URL, paste in the one that you've, the correct one that you've copied, click apply, and the image is displayed. Resizing an image as I initially demonstrated, you could double click on the image and adjust the dimensions by width and height, but you can also simply manually drag and drop the image corner to get the dimensions that you desire. With images of high resolution or size, this may just take a few times. Now that our image is inserted and resized, let's create a link to an external resource using that image. In this particular example, we're going to link to a scene from a movie, but please remember that there are limitless options to how you can implement a variety of resources. So whether it's a class or a community, you need to consider all of the possibilities that the editor has to offer so you can bolster your environment. But to link to an external resource from an image, you're gonna select the image. You're gonna click Insert Edit Link. You're gonna enter in a URL. You're gonna choose how you would like it to open. We're gonna just have it open in a new window and we'll click Insert. Now this image is now linked to, as you can see in the text, a scene from Bobby Fischer. When you're including media, you have a number of options to choose from. So we're going to take a look at a few of those options now. From the drop down menu, you have upload media, which can be from your computer, or you can use file manager, which is your campus cruiser um, file manager. You could insert the media's URL, or you could embed an object. And in this example, we're going to learn how to embed a video. You're just going to take the embedded code. You're going to paste it or type it in. You can change the dimensions here if you'd like to, the width and the height. And then you're going to click apply. As you can see, a placeholder for that media object is displayed. And when your user accesses the content, they'll be able to play it right from here. If you are not yet familiar with how to capture the source code for a media object like I demonstrated here, let me show you how. From YouTube, you can enter in a topic or a subject that you'd like to search for. You're going to select the video that you would like to import. You're going to click the share button. There are a lot of options to share, but we want to select the embed tab. You're going to select and copy the entire code that's shown and then you're ready to return to your editor. You can paste your code right back in and click apply. And there you go. Your media object has been inserted. Next we're going to go over how to add an attachment. Select the add attachment button in the bottom right hand corner. You can upload your attachment from your computer or from your my files. Select the files that you wish to upload and select Upload File. The files will be shown below and click Continue when you're finished. A confirmation message will be displayed at the bottom right to say that your files have been attached. It's very simple. Another great way that you can add a file or link to a file that you have uploaded to your My Files, you can select some text or an image and select Insert File. Choose the file that you wish to associate. And if you want the text to stay the same, change it up here. Once you're finished making your changes, click Apply. 
And as you can see, your link has been made. Once you've finished making all of the changes in the editor, you're going to click Submit. And then your topic or discussion or announcement or news, it's going to be displayed. Now, if you'd like, you can go on in here and test out some of the things that you've done. For example, by selecting read the following attached article, it links right to the article which you attached to. Or if you click play in your embedded object, your video will play if you select the scene from Bobby Fisher to an external link that will also be displayed. And again, the Rich Text Editor tool is so powerful and you can really use your creativity, get the juices flowing, and create really impactful content or environments for your users.